Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about this farfalle pasta and how to make it into this butterfly shape. Are you ready? Let's get started. That's starting on the top view and we're gonna coming into using the star and let's go ahead to type it zero here for whatever size you want it and you can set it up the number of the start uh, in my case I'm set it up for 30 over here so that's what I get over here after that I'm going to make them a little bit rounder because our pasta is nice and round and smooth so we are going to use the fitted corners let's try one and see how that look if that is too uh, soft over there you're gonna come back and we can try something halfway let's try 0.5 millimeter so then we will get something like that now I want to cut open a U shape over here to make our U shape look nicely we are going to starting from a curve snapping into the zero and I can coming up holding the shift coming up something like this this and something look like this and see if that is too bumpy and if you do adjust you know those control points to make it look nicer all right i may also need to move this just up a little bit so it's not right in the middle once you like it to go ahead to mirror to the other side and also join them mirror again to the other side so we'll get this pasta shape here uh, this is gonna be the basic shape so make sure that this is the shape that you want let's go ahead to make a copy on those two we're going to use a control c and control v and hiding one set so then we can select everybody here using the trim command to trim off here 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 and here okay and while it's selected let's join it okay so when we join there's one thing you want to pay a little bit of attention we want everything nice and smooth so we want to give in a fitted edges for maybe 0.35 so the ending won't be like so pointed because it's a pasta it should be nice and rounded everywhere okay so now we have something like that let's go ahead to turn it back to those two curves that we hide so pick up this one and this one I'm going to turn them into the red colors so easier for you to see when we're creating the surface we need to have a profile here and our profile from here to here it seems a little bit too short so this is will be something stick it out so we need to make the line the red line a little bit longer let's come over to the curve that you have the extended curve it's going to pick up this curve and we wanted to do is make them a little bit longer you don't have to make it super long just a little bit longer than the tip of the pasta that we have there so we keep doing on all four ended there so once we have that we can coming into the right view and decided what is the shape that we want the one that we have i'm going to snapping into this end point and it's going to go down a little bit and then they're gonna coming up something like this and going down again and coming up back to snapping into this endpoint don't have to be symmetrical because we want to make it more natural so then the second thing we wanted to do is again snapping into this endpoint i want them to go down and coming up maybe like this and going down again and snapping into this endpoint all right so the curve look beautifully at the right view but if we look at the perspective they are snapping back to the construction plane we want to use the command project to c plane and we want to delete the input there so now we have this one here on the construction plane we simply just want to move this one back here i also want to just making a copy from this point to this point but make sure that the end may not be touching is because the two curve when we extend it it's not symmetrical so basically i want to pick up the very last point and using the move command to move back to this point right there okay so now we got everything 
So now it's ready for the surface. We are going to use a sweep to rail. This is the rail one, rail two, cross section one, two, and three. And that's how we get this. If that is too bumpy over there, on the option box here that you have maintain high, so you can see it will least, you know, not bumpy that much. It will maintain the high possible and we will click OK. So that is the surface that we have. We simply going to pick up this pasta shape and then we are going to trim the extra that we have there. So then we have that single surface. Let's go ahead to use the offset surface and we want to offset this surface. Let's say I want it to be 0.4 millimeter solid equal yes and I want to flip it to the bottom. You can flip either direction but because it's really tight so I figure flip it to the bottom might look better. Then that's how we get this farfalle pasta shape. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.